We're going to start with the perfectly inelastic collision. And recall, that means that they will stick together. So they have Velcro on them. So when I slam one into two, they'll stick together and move as a single object and therefore be perfectly inelastic. And we're going to start even simpler than that is M2 is going to be still. We're just going to let M1 crash into M2. So what that means is V2 initial is going to be equal to 0. We're going to dispense with the vector notation for now. We're just going to go sort of vector components. So if it's a positive sign, it's to the right. If it's a negative, it's to the left. Okay. So let's see. We would start then like this. So here's M1, and it has V1 initial. And here's M2, and it's just sitting there. And then the question is, in the end, what do we get? We have M1 and M2. How are they moving? Oops, that's M1, M2. So we know that we can conserve momentum. We know that we have M1, V1 initial. We have zero momentum here for the initial case, because it's not moving. So we'll go ahead and say that's equal to M1, V1 final plus M2, V2 final. So we have two unknowns, V1 final, V2 final. We have one equation. We need the other equation. And in the case of a perfectly inelastic collision, you don't really deal with the energy equation. Your second equation comes from this requirement that they're stuck together. Right? If they're stuck together, they move together. So your second equation in this case really is that V1 final equals V2 final. And therefore, you can just call it, in this case, let's just call it V final. They're the same. So it's not really the energy, it's the fact that they're stuck together that gives you the second equation. So now we have two equations and two unknowns, and it's pretty straightforward to solve it. This is V final, and this is V final. So it's M1 plus M2 times V final. Solve for V final, just bring the M1 plus M2 under here. So you get V final equals M1 over M1 plus M2. So this factor, this ratio, V initial. So that is the perfectly inelastic collision where M2 starts out at rest. So let's look at that and see if this is how it behaves. So we're going to call this M1. It's the one that's going to be moving. And this is M2. It's going to be still. And I've just got to be able to crash them where they actually stick. So here we go. And let's see. How did that look? It looked to me like it slowed down. And it should slow down. So we started out at some speed, some velocity. This ratio is always going to be less than 1. Say they weigh about the same. This is going to be a half, 1 over 2. V final should be about a half of V initial. It's about what we had. It looked like it slowed down. We could check that, though. I could make M2 weigh a lot more. So I can add a kilogram to M2. All right, so now we have a small number over a small number plus a big number. So this should be a small ratio now. And therefore, it should go slower. So I'll try to send it in at about the same speed, and we'll see if it slows down even more. Yes, yeah, slow down even more. What if we make this one heavy? All right, let's see. If we make M1 heavy, then you can see it's still going to slow down, but not by as much. All right, if we make M1 heavy, then it should be a close to a factor of 1. Let's see if it slows down. All right, it slowed down, but not by as much. All right. So far, everything is making sense. We have made no wild new physics discoveries yet. But hold on. Let's see. Maybe we will. So to move forward, we could just make them both move. And it's similar. It's just more complicated looking. All right. We could let them both have velocities. Uh, they'll still stick. Right. It's still a perfectly inelastic collision. So you still have V1 final equals V2 final equals, we'll just call it V final. And uh, you still have to conserve momentum, right? So now we have M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial. That's the initial momentum. And the final, since they're stuck together, you can just go ahead and write it as M1 plus M2 V final, like that. So if you wanted to solve for this one, well, you just turn it around and you say, What's V final? <clears throat> it is uh, M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial over M1 plus M2. Right. 
And that's really it. It doesn't get super nice and clean and pretty because a lot of stuff can happen, all right? So if we have these two things here, now that I'm letting them both move, uh, well, they could come together or maybe this one is slow and this one's gonna overtake it like that and then they stick. Of course, it keeps going that way. Uh, you could have this one moving slow and this one moving fast and it'll probably end up going the other way. They don't quite stick together. You could also have a perfect balance. What if we had the same mass and they came together at the same rate? Then the momentum would be zero. And if they're gonna to stick together, they would have to stop, right? So if M1 equals M2, you could factor out uh, all of these Ms, right? And it would cancel and V1 and V2 are opposite directions with the same amount, you just get zero. It would just stop. So we can see if I can make that happen here. So we bring them together and they just stop. 